G'day, mate. Welcome back to By the Hell with me, Jedi. Um, I have a feeling we... Well, well, I don't have a feeling. We have some serious problems. We have two, two strips of nuclear reactors. And as you can see, the left-hand one has a small problem currently. Because a Bido ate the bottom reactor. And uh, we're going for DEFCON 5 solutions. Which is where we just nuke everything until all the Bidos go away. And unfortunately, biters take several nukes to die. Can you die already, please? Please? You need to die. You are... Uh, nope. Cannot touch me. Have a BFG. Yeah, the BFG from Doom. Yes, this is the weapon of choice. And... Lots of lasers. And you need to die. Uh, you, whoa. Uh, deconstruct those guys. Uh, we might just drop some nukes across the front line. Just to try and ebb the flow. Uh, deconstruct those. Deconstruct those. Deconstruct. No! Come on, robots. Save a reactor. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, we just lost all of everything. We just lost our whole power backbone, basically. And there are biters now freely running through the base. Uh, have some nukes. Oh, they're even up here. At the moment, we're just at the point where we're just, just going to shoot the hit points to move. If I see hit points on the map and they move, they need to die. Yeah, it's as bad for me as it is for you. BFG, 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 you're dead. Uh, BFG, 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 BF, nuke. Uh, BFG, 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 BFG. I have. Oh, you don't have power. No, you're firing off whatever ammo is currently loaded in the guns. Uh. Can we turn the robots off, please? Uh, nukes, 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 nukes. Uh, pay attention to me. Stop running towards the base. Come this way. Come this way. Yep. Splash damage. Come on. Uh, that's a few more than I anticipated. You die. Die. Okay, that's that problem solved. Uh, the little red flashy light has got ahead of me. It's now all the way up here. Hey, you. Pay attention to me. Pay attention. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, you're done. Uh, that's bad. Hey, you. Uh, yeah, that's expensive. That's also expensive. All these things that are dying are expensive. You're dead, you're dead. Uh, hey, guys. We had a clear rule. You were going to stand on the outside of the wall, and I was going to stand on the inside of the wall. And that acid really hurts. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Come on. You've just got to die. Once you're dead, everything will be fine. Apart from we've got no power. And, like, the walls require power. Uh, according to this, there's a dead thing over uh, here. And here. Oh, boy. Everything's fine. Uh, there's another army over here. Uh, where were we? We were looking for problems over... Oh, this wall's broken now. 
Uh, are you a category 11? No, you're still a category 10. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of the wall. Uh, which means I can nuke freely. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen nukes. I'm out of nukes. Uh, however high that request is, let's... Oh boy. You're in the wrong side of the base. Uh, die. Please die. Oh, they're behind me as well. Uh, yeah. at all, like, my weapon does 1.2k electrical and fire damage per... How the hell did you get in there? Okay, so that's a category 11 spitter. Uh, he's slightly larger than all his friends. He's also completely immune to explosions, so nukes don't do anything. Uh, he also heals with personalized defense. Uh, in fact, all lasers. All lasers heal him. Uh, he also does 46,000 acid damage per spin. So if you get hit, you're pretty much screwed. Even with my super duper 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 overpowered shields. Are suddenly brought to their knees in one ball of acid. Uh, that's a lot of you. That's a lot, a lot of you. Uh, everybody else is not immune to nukes. Uh, there's biters everywhere. Hel hel Please stop that. Please stop that. Please stop. Oh my god. They're behind me. Please. I was just trying to fight with... Uh, PLDs, PLDs, PLDs. P oh, yep. PLDs. Uh, I was just trying to fight with one of you. Not all of you. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The base is not at all damaged. We'll have this fixed up in just half a jiffy, quarter of a jiffy. Everything will be back to normal. You won't even know. It's just a square, a scratch. It's a flesh wound. It's it's nothing. Uh, I'm about to run out of ammo. I really hope I have more ammo in my inventory. Uh, have BFG. But do not walk in acid. Uh, we're down to an SMG. Fight to the end! That's one down. Yeah, uh, what's that? 192,000 hit points. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go just wander. Whoop! Don't touch me. Holy crap. Uh, you're faster. I don't like you. You should walk slower. Yeah, 192,000 hit points. And I'm shooting out with an SMG. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Uh, I keep nukes up here somewhere. Uh... Follow the belts of goo. No, we want to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Uh, you. Okay, BFG rounds. We might as well grab those. They're in the same sort of corner of the map. Uh, we've still got several hundred uranium rounds, so we should be good there. Uh, B. No, no, no. Uh, there's... There's not many. That's the correct answer. There's not many. 
is 150 rounds, which sounds like a lot until you're actually firing them, and then you realize it's not many. Uh, category 10. Yep, there's nothing important here. We're just going to nuke the base. train there. We won't nuke it. We'll go with lots of BFG power. It's not doing anything. That health bar is not moving at all. That's worse. Uh, you know what? Uh, sacrifices had to be made. The health bar is still not moving. At all. At all. Your nuclear route... Oh, your explosive route... Oh, crap, it's an 11. Uh, I didn't see that. Okay, take lasers off. Because it heals with lasers. This is why we're having all the problem. And now fire a BFG repeatedly. And hope the health bar goes down. One shot is like... No, two shots? Two shots is like one... Point off the hit point bar. So that's like 20 shots left. Eight shots left. Six shots. Four shots. One, two, three. No, it's like three shots for one hit point bar. You be dead. Hey, look, the south wall's fine. Oh no. Uh, put those back on. See, I cleared out the south wall. Nothing's nothing's wrong. South wall's perfectly fine. It's fully defended. Uh, on the other hand, this wall might be having an issue. Uh, turns out I self nuked. Who would have thunk it with all the bright lights and everything else going off? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can call that as the biters of one. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, there's no power, obviously. So that makes life a little bit difficult. Uh, yeah, there's biters standing up here in the middle of the base. Uh, there are biters roaming through there. Look, our, our workshop survived. Um, nope, they're in the original smelter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can call it here. So, I guess we should do a base tour. So, let's do a couple of things. Uh, let's first do that. Goodbye, biters. And let's go into editor mode so I can get around the map quickly. And we'll slow the game right now. Half speed. Okay, so. This is what's left. This is what's left of our, our masterpiece, our... Our wonderful base, our 99 episodes of Bite of Hell. Um, we obviously started with, as you start with every game, like very, very basic smelters. Nothing too special. Um, actually, I want to run around the map. So I'm going to go pick up my corpse. Uh, that's a red thing. That's not me. I newt myself here somewhere. Uh, got clipped by one of these nukes. Uh, just give me a sec whilst I find my corpse. So, found my corpse. It required, you know, running a couple of commands and changing my player character, uh, color rather. Um, turns out green's a lot easier to see on concrete than red is, but. I figured we should go over briefly like how each of the defensive walls were set up um, if the radiation ever goes away. So, um, down here in the south, obviously we had lots of guns um, with lots of lasers and lots of flamers on a very, very narrow wall. This one was holding reasonably well. 
This one was the wall that broke, and I'm willing to bet it was just the sheer amount of goop and stuff on the belt. Um, probably one of these belts got broken, and therefore the rest of these guns ran out of ammo, and really the guns are what was holding back the level 11 biters. Because if we go into here and we bring up a category uh, 11 spitter, and then we hover our mouse over it, we can see that it is 100% explosive resistance, so zero damage from explosives, 105% laser resistance, um, which is what really brought down the base. The fact that these guys healed with lasers and we still had a fair number of lasers in and running. Um, you know, this guy does, what's that, 300, three, oh, two, 280, 280 laser damage per second? Uh, no, it has a shooting speed of 6 plus 13, so 20 times per second. Uh, that's a lot of... Oh, oh, turns out when you put these guys back, they get their kills back. All their stats come back. Oh, that's nice. Uh, kills 210, kills 99, kills 800. Uh, we have some very effective flamethrowers here, there, and everywhere. Oh, the, the, that's a new one, that's an old one, that's a new one, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing an insane amount of laser damage, um, even when you compare that to... Which one? you got three. So, laser damage, damage dealt is, what's that, 1.3 million. The flamethrower has dealt way more damage overall, um, but the lasers deal the damage very, very specific, very, very targeted very very quickly and when one of these guys are shush not talking to you when one of these guys are using that to heal that's obviously going to cost and slow us down um on top of that you know we can see the physical damage is really the physical damage and the fire damage is really what would uh keep us running and like you know this guy's done four million damage uh this guy's done almost four million damage uh this guy's done three and a half million uh, 3.2 million, 3.1 million. Obviously, the guys further to the right, uh, further to the left, are more popular. Um, so yeah, the minigun towers were really doing most of the damage to the spitters, and unfortunately, it looks like this belt here got broke, and then before a bot got over here to replace it, because the bots have got so many commands over so much of the map. I'm really for any time you have a a wall you should really have the walls on a separate short roboport network that way whatever bots being allocated to do do things is coming from a very short distance and is get like cannot be called halfway across the map to come do this repair um which is something i should have done i was sort of hoping that the factory extended faster robots with larger networks uh with better recharging all that sort of stuff would just work and it's probably one of one of the many contributing factors that brought me down in the end. Uh, mainly the fact that these guys healed. And even if we go to their biter counterparts, uh, he has he's still damageable. No, uh, even him with this guy could at least take a nuke to the face and take some damage, whereas the spitters just the nukes bounce off them. Um, they both heal with lasers. I was pretty much screwed. Um, <clears throat> you know, our walls at a thousand hit points just die. They're just like, they're just nothing. The biters just go through them. Um, so yeah, that was probably my main thing. And then the fact that they took out half the nuclear with the other half of the nuclear so close, that just really did us in. Um, this side, obviously after that ammo belt dried up, we can see that there's an absolute lack of ammo on the belt. After that wall broke, uh, this wall was going to break shortly thereafter. It's like all the ammo has been cleared out. The whole belt's empty. Uh, the north wall, which was the one I actually thought was going to fail first. Uh, even it has a giant hole. Uh, it's it's a decent sized hole in it. Um, but it was not far from failure either. Uh, over on the far side of the map. Let's just wander over there. I went and picked up my body so I could physically run around. Because I just layered this with flamers, I think it would have survived a decent amount of time. Um, yeah. 
it had flamers and lasers. It, it, it might have lasted. I, I really don't know about that wall. Um, either way, look, I, I think the whole the whole base was about to fall apart, um, bit by bit by bit. Um, this one's actually doing reasonably well, uh, but also doesn't have much pollution to worry about. Whereas, um. Yeah, this one uh, was sort of coded a little bit. I, I really, really wish that I'd had just one more episode because I was really hoping to bring out the artillery bombardment remotes and just lay waste to all of this. Just just bombard everything. It would have shot the evolution through the roof. Um, we would have gone from level... What's that? A level 10 biter to a level probably about 14 biter. Uh, which has a bit of a size difference. Um, we also noticed that now they're immune to electrical, uh, lasers definitely, uh, explosives they heal from, lasers they heal a lot from, so really you're down to physical damage only. And that's why we were working on trying to get the sniper turrets up and running. Um, the sniper turrets... We got the ammo! Uh, we, we, we... We, 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 yeah, no, it, it just didn't happen. Um, I really think some... Uh, can I... No, I'm going to change to that one. I want to bring and put some of those in there. Damage bonus 470 times 4 with a damage of 96 plus 2.2k physical. Yeah, the sniper ammo would have really, really helped. So would of uh, some of these particle beams or particle turrets. Um, these are some, something that I just I never got around to doing. Uh, BFG turret. Uh, status beam, status beam, actually we'll do, and a force turret, and a status field. So status field, I had research, I was one I actually wanted to play with. It, uh, can we, do we have a pop-up on any of these? No, uh, but if we go back to there, and then into here. So, all enemies within range are 70% slower. Uh, the force Cannon turret pushes enemies back. Um, the status beam slows all the enemies. This one has an area of effect one, whereas this just slows an individual target. Um, the BFG, which is what we were running around shooting, would have been a good alternative. Um, and it uses electrical and fire. That uses electrical and fire. That uses... No, it's slower. That uses electrical and fire. And that uses electrical and fire. Um... <coughs> Unfortunately, I think they would have suffered the same sort of thing, that because they all use electrical in some way, um, electrical is definitely going to be better than laser, um, but even after we get up to, like, a level 14, they've got 100% electrical resistance, so you're only talking about the fire damage, which they are going to take 20% uh, knockoff off the... Um, can I get some of them? And you're a BFG. So, uh, projectile range, uh, what's that? So the electrical we ignore, but it's like 4K fire damage, knock 20% off that. That's like 3K-ish left over. Um, it's still going to take a lot, a lot of cannon fire, heavy cannon fire on a gun that has an, uh, a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A firing arc rather than a 365 degree it's it's well 360 degree it's it's got a narrow fire a firing arc and fairly limited range um, that's probably the other big thing what was that one particle beam particle beam uh, you do not nearly enough damage. So yeah, it would really have to be the BFG clips. The BFG clips themselves... Is that going to tell me? Uh, no, it doesn't tell me what they cost to craft. And you're not going to tell me either. Um, but the BFG clips, from memory, they're like copper and alien, alien goop. The, the level 4 one, the alien artifact. Which are going to get very, very expensive very, very quickly. And it also means that you're... 
way of dealing with aliens is by having aliens to deal with the aliens. Um, which is definitely a problem should anything ever go wrong. Uh, so yeah, look, it, it's been fun. By the hell has definitely been a fun little map. Um, I'm really, really glad I've, I, I had a chance to play it and I'm really, really glad that, you, well, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed the ride along the way. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm going to leave episode 99. Um, I am going to do one more episode. I'm going to actually roll back to before all the walls failed and we're going to do a full proper base walkthrough. Um, and that will be episode 100. And then I have something new starting, something new, some special reasons. Um, it's actually the channel has hit 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so we're going to do a special, a special series on, or a special series of Factorio all about you guys. So I need to thank you guys for coming along for the ride. I do hope you've enjoyed it. It's been, like I said, an absolute amazing ride. And yes, if you wish to partake in the next series, um, all you got to do is click the subscribe button. So with that said, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, bye.